So here you see the open info man, which manages the various care service directory documents that we have. You notice that in this example we have 10 registered documents that are coming from various data sources. Um, if you go into the load and register sample service directories, you're able to load some of the existing CSD documents from a file. This is good for initially populating a CSD database uh, with a large result set or for testing purposes. Uh, in this case we see things like the, the Benway or the Nasara uh, CSD documents as well as the NMCN documents. In addition to the individual documents we have a merging service that lets us take any all of the registered documents that we have so in this case it would be these 10 registered documents and merge them together into one document and once we've merged them together make sure that the document is registered and then we can query against that merged document as well. Now if we go to the management interface for the health worker registry you see here we have an example record uh, we go to the home page you see that we can do a search so if we just search by oh, letter A we get the first 10 matched records scrolling down um, we can change the start record that we uh, are starting at instead of being one uh, we can change the common name, we can select the status, we can select the health worker type, etc. Uh, but we do see these 10 search results. The question is which of these registered documents are we querying against? Well, if you come into actions you can see that we have select remote directories. We select the remote directories we see that here, under the health worker directory, we have the National Health Worker Registry of Nigeria, NHWRN. We also have Nasarwa. We also have the NMCN dataset and the Benway dataset. So if we only wanted to query against the Benway dataset, we just click Update. And now we're only querying against the Benway dataset if we put in this search for record B and we would see that we've got a, a, a different data set. Clicking on one of the records we get into the short details on the health worker record. We go under actions we can view the full health worker record. We see that there are, is some information here um, on their name, um, their place of work, and here you're going to notice that there is some information about their place of work but there's no data. The reason is is that at this point the data set has only been loaded with the facility list that we got out of NMCN uh, and Nursing Medical Free Council of Nigeria. What we really want is to have the uh, a facility registry uh, so this would be for example DHIS2 Nigeria to be able to have our master list of facilities that each of the source systems, whether it's NMCN, Benway, or Nasarawa, or one of the other states, would use that same facility list when we were linking in. In this case, since we don't really have a master facility list, we've only loaded the one list of facilities which is coming from NMCN. As this is the Benway state directory, um, we are we haven't loaded the facilities for Benway State yet and we haven't linked to those so it doesn't appear like there's any information if we actually go into switch to the remote directories again um, now let's check the NMCN as our provider directory we update that search for something we have somebody's name we go into uh, to view of their full record. We see that we have a lot more detailed information than before. 
we've got um, the identification number. We might we don't have any, we have their name. In this case, we don't have a place of work because this person hasn't been associated with a facility yet. As this is coming from NMCN, uh, there isn't a whole lot of that information in that database. Um, but at least you get a sense of, of what's here.